My name is Wayne Rowan. I'm two years retired, but I spent my career in corporate America, various director and VP roles, mostly in Fortune 500 companies, managing businesses that dealt with technical products and services. During that time, I spent very little time looking at or being involved in local governments. I was always too busy with my career to get too involved, or at least that's how I uh, rationalized it. But when I retired, I joined the River Falls Library Board of Trustees. And oddly enough, that is sort of the beginning of my journey of how I came to intersect with GROW. As, as part of that Board of Trustees responsibility, I became aware of significant reductions in financial support over the past five years from the city of River Falls to support the library. And for those of you who have, are in River Falls or have been to River Falls and have driven by our, our library, you know that the library here is, is a crown jewel of this community. It's, uh, it's a library that was built about 25 years ago and is would be the envy of communities twice our size. And so the, the fact that we have had declining financial support was both disturbing to me, and I think the more people I've talked to in the community, it is disturbing to the community that that, that library would become in financial jeopardy over a period of time. So I spent a lot of 2023 out networking in the community to really address what we consider to be a looming financial emergency. I'm very happy to say that uh, small progress has been made to stabilize the city's financial support. Just last night, the city council voted to create a memorandum, memorandum of understanding with the library to stabilize funding. It doesn't solve the long-term issue. The long-term problem remains, and that is the River Falls City general view of the library and their financial commitment to sustaining it. And so we've got still got a lot of work to do, but for the moment, at least, we've had a little bit of a reprieve. As I was out networking in the community, I, I sort of came away with three takeaways. It's it, I call the awareness of from my journey. And one was the concerns about where power does and does not reside in our local government. And, and that was a shocker to me. And one that got me very concerned about where we're going and where institutions like the library are going in the future. I observed a lack of a bold vision in local government. And, and I'm a I'm a futures guy, I'm a vision guy, I'm a strategy guy. And so I was concerned that, that I did not see a bold vision in, in River Falls. And probably most importantly, and the one that probably was the catalyst to drive me to, to really engage John and Bill was that the actions of city government, in my view, are not reflecting the community goals. So as an example of that, you know, the city is spending a lot of time and effort and money to create industrial parks to bring economic growth and create jobs in the community. And I think this is a very important thing to do. I want to be careful that I'm not sending the wrong message here. I think it's an important thing to do, but I think the city is, has lost the awareness of the factors, the other factors that really incent families to move into communities. And those factors, I think in River Falls include things like affordable housing and parks and recreation and the school system and the library. And I think the balance of, of focus that the city has right now, all with good intentions to create economic growth, I think are, are short-sighted and naive in terms of what else needs to be done to bring families into the community and grow this community profitably. So I'm excited about the idea of, of you know, joining up with GROW and supporting candidates that have the, the potential and the abilities to make positive change. And I've been so impressed with the way that that GROW has succinctly articulated just a very crisp and clean and I think logical vision about how groups like this can really make a difference in finding and supporting the candidates to make those kinds of changes. So thank you for letting me be part of it.